Hi parents, so what I want to do is I want to show you how Teams works, or not Teams works, sorry, how Pearson should be working. Your child is required to do at least a lesson. Um, it's based off what I put on the agenda and the lesson that they are working on. And so I just want to show you how it would work on their end. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully this helps. Okay, so what I have is I told them to bookmark Pearson. And so that way they can click on it. Their username is going to be their student number and their password is capital O. Everything else is lowercase. V-S-O-S-P-R-E-Y exclamation mark one. Again, that is capital O, all lowercase. V-S-O-S-P-R-E-Y exclamation mark one they're going to click log in and so they'll have these classes your child may have another teacher's class on there that is okay they will never have to go in it don't worry about it um they have language arts and science so far they will about art on monday october the 12th and then I will do social studies also on that day. And then I will introduce PE to them the that Friday. So I'm slowly going to launch these classes. But right now they have been introduced to language arts and they've been introduced to science. So they go ahead and they go in, they click, they click into their classroom and it'll pull up. Um, everything that has like uh, I crossed out, that's teacher's view, so your child won't have it. Um, here is the course guide, so if they click on that, this is everything that they are expected to know. It just breaks everything down by the unit and all of that. That is a great tool for you to read. And then again, they have the course overview pretty much the same thing and how it would be graded. Then they have their backpack. Their backpack is like a backpack in the classroom. It's all their materials that they need. They have any textbook that they will need. And as it says, there are no supplies at this time. Um, and so as they need the supplies, they would be uploaded in here. There's a glossary for them. And so we have this tool up here, text to speak. And so if you click this, um, so sorry, if you click this button, you can and then it will read it for you. Um, if your child needs that. And so it has all the terms that they will look up. So just like a glossary. Um, here is going to be the website links that they would need. And like I said, there are no website links for this course. So they don't have to worry about it. As they need the website links, they will be added. Resource packs for them. So. Again, different things. So as they need this stuff, it will appear. If there's no link, that means don't worry about it. So everything they need for their course would be in here. And then they have their unit. So unit one, their first one is language arts overview. And here are the objectives. So they'll always get the objectives and here's the lessons. And so for unit one, there's only one lesson because it is an intro and then they would scroll down and then they would go into their folder. And this is everything that is a part of lesson one. So I will be assigning lessons for them and they may seem like like today on the 8th, um, I told them that their lesson one was due by Friday. 
And so it may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Um, they're reading this, they're watching a video. When they're done, they're marking complete. So it, it's really not a lot. Um, we are required that they have, I believe it is 45 minutes of ELA, and I can correct myself out. If I'm wrong, I will correct myself. But these are all their courses. Now they can't just say, oh, I don't feel like doing language arts overview. I'm more interested in animals. So I'm going to click in animals. They can click it, but it won't let them do anything because you have to go through unit one. So you have to go in order to do that. Um, and then if we go back to science, Again, it's the same thing, the backpack. So course materials, all of that is in there for them. And then they have unit one being the scientist. They have the unit summary, which is going to be in everyone. They have four lessons within unit one. So this would take about two weeks to complete unit one. And so they in and they are going to click unit or 1.1 and they know they have to do all of 1.1 because that is one lesson and like I explained to them if they were in the classroom getting started it's like an introduction or um, introduction to what's going to happen then you have the instructions that's me giving the instructions to them activity that is when they break up into their small groups and they're working on the activity review is when we we come back as a whole group and we talk about it and then um a uh, quick check that is me checking for understanding make sure that the students know so they looked at this the first time and they're like oh my gosh this is a lot but when i broke it down like that they're like oh it's not that bad and so like i said this is only this is the instructions that they have to do and so they mark complete when they're done uh, I don't want any student to feel stressed out when it comes to Pearson, and that's why we are taking it slow the way we are. And I really do hope that as we continue to go on, it'll be smoother and smoother for them. And if you have any questions about logging in or anything like that, please feel free to let me know. And so I really hope that this video helped and it got rid of any confusion or any stress. All right, guys, have a good day and a good evening. Bye.